Okay, today is kind of a uh, quick look at a command that has a lot of features that I need to look into, and I only know a few basic parts of it, and that is the FMT uh, command, which basically allows you to format the output of stuff in the command line. So let's quickly create a text file to work with. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, but once again, as always, use the text editor that you like and you are most comfortable with, and I'll just call it uh, file.txt. And I'm just going to start typing here, just gibberish, but pretend I'm typing words. Uh, I'm not going to hit enter at all, I'm just going to type everything like it's on one line. So imagine this is a text file with a real long paragraph, the enter isn't hit, um, and it's just basically really long lines. So I'm going to save that, and of course if we cat it out, there we go, it kind of wraps it around uh, automatically with cat, but let's say we don't want it to, we want to limit the width of uh, each line. Even though this is one line, we want to output it as multiple lines if it's greater than a certain width. So we're going to use the FMT, FMT command. We're going to say dash W for width, and we'll start off with 50, so 50 characters long and then we'll just tell it what file we want to do it with so we'll say file.txt we'll hit enter and there you can see the same file but it's uh, uh, more appropriately formatted words aren't getting cut off as they're looped around because as you can see it's like a word can start off here and then end up down here and um, uh, FMT doesn't do that it will wrap it around uh, at spaces uh, at least using the command that we're using currently uh, and you know we can change that to any number we can change it to 25 and have a nice thin column now you will notice that if a word is longer because right here we have a word that's longer than 25 characters it does not break up that word and that word will still be on a line by itself longer than the width we set but in reality most of the time when you use this you are going to set it to a width that's comfortable reading width and words usually aren't going to be that long so normally something like 50 would probably be a good width, this right here, and very rarely are you going to find any single words that are 50 characters long. Uh, now, once again, this is just affecting how the file is outputted. The file itself has not been modified, so if we, uh, you know, vim back into our file, or whatever text that we use, you can see that the file has not been edited in any way. Uh, if we wanted to uh, save the output of that, we can run our uh, FMT command again. So once again, FMT-W for width, 50, and then the name of the file, and then we can redirect that into a new file, like file2.txt. And now if we list out our files in this folder, we have two files. We have our original and file.2, and if we just cat out or vim to go into our second text file, you can see that it uh, is saved in the new format where if we cat out our original file it still uh, does not have the formatting. So once again uh, FMT has a lot of features. I think I've used it once or twice in tutorials in the past. It's used mainly for formatting, uh, making stuff uh, more readable. I think the name has to do with something with making stuff human readable. So formatting something text, man text, I don't know. Um, but it is used to basically formats make things easier to read and um, I know it has a lot more features than what I've gone over and I hope to go over some of them in the future but for right now this is a quick little tip on using uh, FMT to format the width of the output of a file so I thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's Chris with the K there's links in the description to uh, the the post on this video it's also a good place to comment and also search through my videos. My newer videos are all uh, in categorized and tagged at my WordPress site, which you can find in the description of this video. It's filmsbychris.com forward slash WordPress. It's all lowercase. And I hope that you just have a great